That's right, and I've learned that that's because meat processing plants like Patrick Cudahy here behind me cannot take animals after they have reached a certain size. Wisconsin is more than just a dairy state. More than 2,200 hog farms generate about $375 million each year. But that business has dropped significantly, as the owner of Maple Creek Farms can attest. They aren't doing graduations, they aren't doing weddings. Um, other caterers aren't doing anything, so that's why we're, we're really lucky that the public has come to our rescue and helping us by uh, buying pork from us directly. Wisconsin pig farmers plan down to the week when each of their hogs will be ready for market. But meat plant shutdowns have created a backup in the production line and hogs can grow too big for production equipment. Placing the animals on diets is one temporary solution, but some farmers have had to slaughter the animals and dispose of them themselves. Some of the other people that, that we work with uh, have put them on diets, but the problem is you can only diet them so long and they still have a bunch of little ones coming up behind them that need space in the barn. That is not something they want to do. They're already losing money. On, on the current market situation. And so to get absolutely nothing for their work and then have to pay for depopulating and disposing, that is something that they really don't want to do. Caroline, we understand this is an industry-wide problem. What about other meat farmers? Well, beef farmers are in the same situation, Patrick. Uh, we know that both industries have lost tens of thousands of dollars just from the pandemic alone. And now with these meat processing plants shut down, they're expecting to lose much, much more.